Hello everyone, I'm John Tracy and welcome to The Voice Guru. Through my experience in opera, jazz and pop, I share my knowledge and everything related to the art of singing in my weekly videos every Friday. The jazz voice is the lower extremities of your voice and it goes up to a certain point just where the passaggio starts. So if you're a low voice, if you're a baritone, a bass, or a mezzo, or an alto also, your chest voice starts from the lower A to the higher A, approximately. Why approximately? Because uh, our voices are all different. Our instruments all work the same, but it really depends on your voice as well. If you're a high voice, a soprano or a tenor, your chest voice starts from the C to the higher C. You can download the cheat sheet on my official page, dongthevoiceguru.com. There's only one way to sing and it's the right way. But what does that mean? First of all, breathe in from the mouth, allowing the air to fill in your lungs. That inhalation position should be maintained throughout your singing. So your first note should start on that same position. Once you do that, your chest voice is launched by the air instead of from the throat. But if you start pushing, you cannot attain the result you're looking for. Ah. Here, I did not engage my throat um, directly. My throat, of course, vibrates indirectly from the air. So the airflow is the only thing that is responsible for the creation of the sound. In the part one of this series, I've talked about the importance of mixing both registers. So even if you're singing within your chest voice and in low notes, that doesn't mean that you have to separate the head voice from that note. The chest voice and the head voice are always together. But in the lower register, the head voice is less than when you're singing higher notes. So it's really up to you to, to combine and find a balance whenever you're singing. The main objective of singing is to have uh, a balance throughout the voice. So your voice in the entire register, in its entire range, should be equal. Ah. Here, even in that lowest note, I've maintained that ease that uh, angelic sound in this in my voice the chest voice is a mechanism that you feel in the front of your face in the front of your throat actually however when you're singing you should not just focus on that front posture uh, singing directly straight from your mouth uh, will make you push the sound out a sound that goes straight from your mouth will fall in front of you it is a sound that has no future, whether you're singing in a low tone or in higher notes. However, combining the chest and the head voice is a good way to go. So instead of doing ah, I'm doing ah. It's more concise. It's more uh, a focused sound that has a future because it's go it goes straight up instead of falling just in front of you. A good way to practice and uh, explore your chest voice would be to um, kind of work on the transition, which is the beginning of the passaggio. So in my case, my passaggio is around the C, um, but it also depends on the songs I'm singing and the repertoire. So when you go from the lower C, if you're a high voice, to the higher C, uh, on those last few notes, this is when you have to really focus, meaning you have to engage more of the head voice into the notes um, so that the more you go up, the thinner the sound gets. Because if you want to keep things very thick um, and sing like you speak, um, this is when you have a limit to the sound. This is when you have a limit to your range within the chest voice. Because the chest voice is a mechanism, after all, and it can only do a specific thing, but it is not meant to take you up to the higher notes. 
This is why belting is not very healthy because it engages a lot of tension and muscles. So the chest voice, you feel it more in the front of your throat. However, by engaging the back of your throat at the same time, this is when you can find a better balance. When your uh, throat is open, this is when you can actually reach those notes and sing with more radiance and vibration. The vibrato comes from an open throat that is reacting to the air. Depending on the songs and the style of music you're performing, you can definitely take up the chest voice more than usual. So if you sing pop music, for instance, and you feel like creating this kind of effect with your voice, you can definitely take up the chest voice above its regular range. So if you're a low voice, if you have a low voice, your, the end of your chest voice should be around the A. So if you take up the chest voice to the C or the D, it's still okay as long as you know how to do both techniques at the same time. So it's good to create effects with your voice as long as you know how to undo those effects. Never engage the lips. So engaging the lips will make you spread the sound and the sound gets pushed to the front. And this is not what we want. We want it to go up. So um, make sure that when you're singing, or at least when you're practicing, try to experiment. Uh, try to sing in front of a mirror so that you can see, you can have a visual of what you're actually doing with your face and with your um, body as well. One thing you can do to practice is to put both hands on your cheeks so that you can allow the sound to always be focused. The voice works as a whole. Um, we shouldn't see it as a separation. Uh, there are separate techniques. There are several things that we have to keep in mind, but we shouldn't be too obsessed with these things. Once you reach a specific note in your voice, that doesn't necessarily mean that you have to change yourself or change how you're singing. It's just that you have to adapt and allow the body to do what it feels like doing. It's easier said than done, but with practice and by experimenting by yourself in a comfortable room or space that you have, you will be able to understand those things and allow the body to do it. When your chest voice is developed enough, your head voice gets easier to find because you're using a specific technique that allows you to reach those notes and allows you to have this virtuous and flexible voice. When you strain your chest voice, you will definitely feel it. First of all, because you will not be able to get to reach higher notes. Second, you will feel that it's kind of uh, throaty and it's scratchy a bit in your throat. So um, whenever you feel this kind of uh, tension, uh, this is when you have to take a break. Stop, think of what you're doing, and repeat. One other thing that you could do is also record or film yourself so that you have not only a visual, but also you can analyze the sound you're producing. Your perception of your voice within yourself is different from what your audience hears. Make sure to follow The Voice Guru on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. I'm John Tracy, and thank you all for watching.